Since his first appearance in the EuroLeague in 2015, Marcus Eriksson has established himself as one of the most potent long-range shooters on the continent. Oh my goodness me, Marcus Eriksson! Well, what's the saying? He can walk on water almost! That is the wrong man to leave unguarded. Oh, a heat check! Marcus Eriksson with a heat check! His accuracy from beyond the arc has seen him dubbed as the Swedish sharpshooter. It's probably my biggest strength in my game is, is my shooting, so uh, I'll take it. I think in general, it's, it's the last couple of years, it's been more and more important. The three-point shot is, I mean, obviously, if you get a good look then uh, at the three-point shot, then it's, it's a very good shot, you know? Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. I mean, I've never seen a shooter like him uh, in my years playing. He, for sure is the best shooter that I've seen. Even in games, I remember, you know, he starts making four in a row and you know, we guys, we look at each other on the bench, like what's going on, you know, so, yeah, he's unbelievable. It just, you know, comes really effortlessly, or it seems really effortlessly um, for, you know, for, for him to shoot the ball. But I mean, it's unbelievable in the gym, he'll shoot, he'll have like 15, 20 makes in a row on a consistent basis. And that's obviously really high level. I'm trying to, to mix it up as, as much as possible, trying to improve in, in all aspects because that's, it's going to be harder to de defend in the end, you know. I think before it was like if you're, an, if you're a shooter, maybe you're running off screens or shooting spot up was like the two only things that you, you maybe did before. Now I feel like you're running maybe more handoffs, you know, trying to play the, the pick and roll a little bit, even playing pick and pop, you know, it's trying to add uh, different things to your game, you know. I think that's what I'm trying to do right now. Now in their third successive EuroLeague season, Ericsson's shooting is proving to be a key component in Alba's quest to become mainstays in Europe's elite basketball competition. I think it changes changes the game a lot for us because it gives us a, a different dimension. He's, you know, obviously defenders have to respect his shooting ability, and a lot of times, you know, he'll either he'll have the open shot or guys will try to help off somebody else, and then he's also good at finding finding those open people. So he gives us another dimension on offense. That's my game, you know, trying to move as much as possible off the ball and obviously how we want to play, you know, with a lot of player movement and ball movement. During the years it's been different. Some teams it's more strictly, you know, you this is what you're gonna do off the ball. Here in Alba it's it's been a little bit different. You have a lot of freedom. I do like to watch a lot of basketball. If I see something that I like, I have the confidence that here I can try it out because we have a lot of freedom in our game. I feel like we're moving forward very good, you know, playing-wise. Of course, I would have uh, liked us to win, win a couple of more games. So going forward for, until the end of the year, I would hope we, we get a couple of more wins and keep on playing good basketball.